I gotta say, I am not looking forward to what's coming. Y'all, it's supposed to be negative one in Kentucky. Ground Christmas, snow. I'm going out to get ready. I already got a couple jugs of gas for the generator. Going to get to pick up a couple more that way. Cause it's only supposed to last a few days, but I want to make sure if the power goes out, I've got electricity can cook for the kids. We've got a couple hundred pounds of propane, but I'm gonna go get a couple of emergency ones just in case, because I may have to cook off the grill, who knows? We don't know what's coming, we know it's gonna be cold. We're starting a new division for our company, Custom Shirts. If you need anything custom, uh, hit us up at up to you customs at gmail.com hey if you need shirts for your channel your business your organization whatever we got you if you just want a personal shirt we got you too but i never dreamed that it would take so much effort to start this custom part up it's been taking a whole lot of work but it's going to be worth it not even left the driveway and she's already calling me well i forgot to put cat litter on the list cat litter i gotta get cat litter well because you know they're gonna be inside the house. We gotta fill the litter box up. The cats are gonna be inside. Okay, goodbye. Love you, bye. Love you. So now I gotta get down here, pick up Jeremiah. I've got the few gas jugs and the tanks loaded up, ready to go. Y'all, it's supposed to drop from like 50 degrees down to five in a matter of hours. That'll probably be tonight, tomorrow, but I'm not looking forward to that. I hate the cold weather. I told Megan, I said, this time next year, I said, we're gonna make sure when it starts getting down to the single digits or negatives, we are going to jump in a car and we're going to go somewhere where it's 70 because I don't like the cold. But let's get this day started, y'all. So let's talk about town for a second. Listen, you can tell a storm's coming because you cannot find a loaf of bread or a gallon of milk nowhere in my hometown. Anyway, I already had my bread. I already had my milk. Plus, I got a bread maker if I want bread that desperately. Tanks are full. Those are our emergency tanks. In the head of this holler, we may be here for five or six days. Like, if it comes bad, we may not be able to get out. They're calling for an ice storm. It's supposed to get pretty wicked. Temperature's supposed to be in the 50s, but then all of a sudden it's going to drop. As soon as the sun goes down from 50 to negative 1. It's going to be cold. It's something we're going to have to whew, hunker down for. Also got this done. I decided seeing the generator is so loud just in case we lose power. I put the generator in there. I can pull the door shut a little bit. Still leave enough for it to exhaust out of there. Thinking about making this a generator room. Actually pop the exhaust out. Because we are getting a box that we're attaching to the house here that we can plug a generator in. Just run the, the wire out of this. Boom, plug it right in. Got a few gallons of gas. That'll last us probably a good four days. Now keep in mind, we'll have the propane. If we have to cook off that, I can fire the grill up. I think we're gonna be able to get through this. I know we got plenty of food. Just made sure we had plenty of water. I don't know if I got PTSD or what after that flood, but y'all, I wanna make sure I'm 100% ready when anything happens. What are you doing? I just opened, got Colton's bedspread, which I have not showed them yet. I plan on it. Stop it. What? Wait, everything's not here yet. Hi, Moo Moo. Did you just wake him up? Look at that hair. Look at that hair. Are you starting something new? Is that chocolate? What are you doing? You look awful grumpy. She just woke up. Hmm. That fell asleep. You need your pissilla? Oh, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I guess I'll let you get woke up early, Tootsie Roll. Okay, so here's the surprise I wanted to show you guys. For Christmas, we only got the kids. We got them a kitchen play set. That's their big gift together. And then they both got six little presents each. That's it. We did not do a huge Christmas. Just felt it was smart not to. You know, Colton's got a birthday a month before Christmas. Chloe has one a month after Christmas. So can we just normalize not doing 30, 40 gifts for Christmas like it's just too much stuff I decided we've been living here in this house for a year you guys know this and we hadn't painted nothing yet we hadn't really we just moved our stuff in and that's kind of how it's been so I decided 
for a uh, part of the kids Christmas to paint their bedrooms and get them no curtains and no bedspreads. So I want to show you Colton's. His everything was white. Every room in this house is white. The kitchen, the living room, bedrooms, everything. So for his room, I decided to go with gray. I think it looks really good with the trim. But now as you guys remember, Colton's room used to be in there where Chloe's is. Now that's the tree box. It will go out after Christmas, obviously. That is because I shampooed the carpets. That will be gone. This area right here is where his toy box is going to go. His TV possibly there. We're going to get one of those arm things. We can put it here, but it'll set center. These, I don't know if you guys remember, I had those painted pretty much that color of the wall. I wanted it to be charcoal. Now, it might look charcoal on camera, but I can promise you in person it looks black. I wasn't real happy with that because the paint even looked like a dusty charcoal. I was like, this is going to be perfect, but it, it definitely dried as almost a black so that might be getting repainted again this spring but we're gonna leave it for now it's fine i love his little curtains let's see if you can see them better like this but they have white gray and charcoal all the way through them so i figured that would go pretty good with the walls and the dressers i picked this out obviously because i wanted to make sure he got a comfortable, warm quilt for wintertime. But I did let him pick the color of his sheets. And his favorite color is orange. So, that's what he got. He got orange bed sheets. And I also got him this little sign to go on the wall. Most of all, you're loved. I got to figure out what to do with his little man cave sign. Can't do it on the back of this door, so maybe I'll just hang it on the wall somewhere. But anyways, let me get these sheets and stuff on, and I will show you guys. There we go. The orange actually looks pretty cool to me. I'm pretty happy with it. Good job, Bubba. It's definitely a lot of gray. I was wanting to make the gray contrast a little bit like opposite of everything, but this is how it worked out. I'm still happy with it. I hung his little sign right up above his bed, but his lamp's up here with his little sign because it will be on the floor if it's not. That is one of the kids' Christmas presents, though I can't wait to get this carpet changed. In these bedrooms but it's not in our budget right now so it is what it is all right i'll show you guys chloe's next i was going to show you guys our new comforter set too we decided since we was getting the kids new ones that we would get us one we got a super like a down it's so warm our bedroom stays cold for some reason like even if the heat's on 72 our room stays really cool i love this rust color i know that's not everybody's cup of tea but yeah it's a mess i did not make my bed today normal life around here i don't jump straight out of the bed and make it i guess y'all can figure out what we're having for dinner i ain't really gonna do a cooking video i mean it's spaghetti i just throw some mushrooms onions garlic some diced tomatoes we usually use this shakaruni sauce because it's a good savory sauce, salty. I don't like sugar in my sauce. Like, I don't think sugar belongs in everything, and it definitely don't belong in spaghetti. I hate that Chef Boyardee stuff because it's like eating like chunky diabetes, if you ask me. It's just it's nasty. But Angel Hair Spaghetti. This, I will tell you, I have a good cooking video coming up. I found my grandma's pot roast recipe. Y'all gonna love this one. I've not had it so long, and when I seen this recipe, I was like, yes. So y'all gonna enjoy this one. I have a feeling we're gonna be snowed in. Christmas is coming. We're making a bird. We're gonna do a ham, but where we all kind of got robbed of Thanksgiving, we decided to go with a turkey. Not this turkey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, Daddy's making bye-bites. Bye-bye, yay. Yay, I'm making bye-bites. So you just go scurry along. Don't worry about what I'm doing. You go have fun. Okay? Go Yay. play. I love you. Yay! More what? <laughs> no, no gummies. You gotta eat bite bites first. Uh, Are you giving mama a hard time? Yeah. As soon as she smells that food. Are you wanting bite bites? Bite bites! I know you want bite bites. It's spaghetti. Yeah. You love spaghetti, don't you? Baby. You bite bites. You want Baby. Yay. Oh, what? That is, I am not going to eat that. That's so much. That's your plate. Oh, dude. I think he's trying to fatten me up for winter. Look what? at that. That's huge. Look I don't that, know. That's like five inches That was tall. one scoop. 
Yeah, that's a scoop. It was all a scoop. But there it is. There's the spaghetti for the night. There's more on the plate over there. Why are you still in mine? I don't know. I didn't think you had me any. Yes. My grandma's hot dog. What? What is your major malfunction, Private? Yes, later in the week, Mamaw's Pot Roast. Y'all gonna love it. Now here is Chloe's room. This used to be Colton's room. So we went with the lighter gray walls for her room. I did have this comforter set on there, but it is so thin. Like you can feel the ceiling fan air coming through it. So I got her a warmer quilt. This is like silky. I don't know, it's not very warm. So we'll use that for summer, spring and summer, the yellow. This thicker one for winter. Painted that dresser for her. Got the pinks and lights and grays and yellows. My favorite part, the curtains. So I ended up getting her these off of Amazon and I went ahead and got her the little throw that has the birds on it too in the multicolor. So it has more than just the gray and the yellow. And of course, no boys allowed, but Bubba too and her little foot plaque. For Christmas, we've got them a kitchen set and things. So the rooms look kind of empty right now and bare. I do plan on going to Hobby Lobby soon after the holidays and not so many people out in traffic after having this flu. I'm like, yeah, we just wait it out. But I do plan on going to Hobby Lobby and getting them some more stuff for the walls, a bookshelf. They have so many books, so many books. So that, yeah, just a few more things. Like this whole wall is empty. She needs something there. I was thinking maybe like one big... <sighs> cute little picture and then maybe some lights too. Colton maybe put some lights in his curtains and things. We'll see. But something else I wanted to show you guys. When I was talking to you earlier about when I said let's normalize not having 30, 40 gifts for Christmas because it's just too much. This box right here is my kids presents. They've got seven things each. Now, this is for my mom and dad. They left that when uh, they came in for Thanksgiving and went back because obviously they won't be here for Christmas. We did get them a big kitchen playset. Like, it's got the stove, the refrigerator, um, the magnetic board, the chalkboard. That's their big gift. I don't want my house cluttered up with a million huge things. Anyways, that's where we are. But I seen a video today online. Look, it's fine to me. If you want to spend buy your kid 50 gifts that's you you do you that's your thing that is no problem with me i am not judging anybody at all but just for us i've just come to the conclusion that things just get overwhelming and not only that my kids are still so small they play with a toy or something for a day or so and then that's it they might pick it up once every three months after that it's i think it's time we normalize bringing christmas maybe to just a little bit of a notch. I know we all like to make everybody happy and do nice things. And But for me and my house, we're going to start slimming the Christmas down. We're going to do one big gift each, you know, when they get older. They're so little right now. Like, there's, we're not getting two kitchen sets. So, that's their gift. I forgot to tell y'all. My luck. This month, there's something about it. So, I went to lay down in the bed last night. This pain, I'm very familiar with. I have a cyst on my ovaries that is flared up right now. All of my ladies out there, you know, if you know, you know. Very painful. I have not had one bother me since I was pregnant with Colton. Before that, I think I had two rupture. One in my early 20s, my later 20s, and then when I was pregnant with Colton, went in, they done the ultrasound, and the doctor was like, yeah, you've got a cyst on your ovaries that's pretty large right now. But for some reason, it never ruptured and never gave me issues. And I'm thinking that's probably Probably that same one that has flared back up. I'm not feeling the best today, as you can probably tell. I'm a little flustered. Sitting on the ground like I am right now hurts very bad. If I move certain ways, you guys know. It's all in that lower area of the pressure, but I laid down last night and just boom, out of nowhere. That pain, I said, oh my god. It's back. It's been years. Well, I got up and took me Tylenol, went back to bed, and six o'clock this morning, it jerked me out of the bed. That throbbing pain. That just down there. I was tired, so I got up and come in here, made me a cup of coffee, and flopped down on the couch. When I sat down like that, I almost cried. My ovaries are hurting today really bad. I am not in such a great way today. My luck with the flu this month and this, I'm ready for December to be over. <laughs> Let's just say that. But hopefully... I need to find my TENS unit because that usually helps a little bit. It really does. I think about it is my sister a few days ago was having issues with one too. Now, she's had them too throughout her life. I was thinking this morning, I think she's jinxed me 
by telling me that. Y'all say a little prayer for me that this goes away because these can be brutal. And when mine flare up like this that I'm feeling, day one ain't so bad. I'd say tomorrow is probably gonna be worse. What, honey? What? Take that passy out. Tell me what. One nine. One nine. Color, huh? What's going on in here, bud? What do you think? Ow! What <laughs> color is this? Orange? Is that the color you picked? The only problem I see with this room is that right there. Yeah, that we need to Ow! for sure. That glass has to go. But all this will be Ow! all this will be gone after Christmas too. You ain't going in our room, are you? Room. That's mom and daddy's room. Yeah, we decided to move Colton back here with us because sometimes he wakes up a little disoriented and stuff, but he's also a what can I get into. We just think it'd be safer to have Colton. We just think it'd be safer to have Bubba back here with us. I feel like Chloe would come find me and Colton would be like, ooh, can I unlock the door? Can I do this? Can I do that? So. Well, eventually I want to come in here and put a wall here no, and bring no. it over to this door frame and actually put the door right here. That way he can walk in this no. way. He'll have that little nook. We can put him a dresser or anything right here. I want to do him a built-in bed, honestly. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is just the start. Getting the walls painted. I love this stuff. Are you okay? You guys just missed it, but... He, me and Chloe was on her bed, and he had Blippi in the hallway. I said, you want to go see your room? He was standing in the door frame, turned around, and hit his, his lip on the door frame. What? That's a dresser, yeah. yeah. What do you think? What? Like his name and her name lit up and put on their wall. I don't know. I mean, we're just getting started. We just got the paint and the bedspreads and the curtains right now. So this is just, I said I got to go to Hobby Lobby. I want to get them some lights or I've been thinking about, I've seen these really cool um, planet lights that you hang from the ceiling with just these little tabs, but they all glow up and light and they spin. I was thinking that would be cool for his room. Her room, I was thinking maybe some of the twinkle lights down the wall. Yeah, it'll have to come when they're a little yeah. older because they're going to tear down anything they can get hold of right now. Are you guilty of it? Mama. Are you? <laughs> Do you like he likes your watching himself over here. Yeah, he does. We gotta get clean clothes. Skeddy dinner still on. Are you guys ready to get fresh clothes on? No. No. Get fresh clothes. We gotta cut your nails too. <laughs> so what do you think? Did Mama and Daddy do a good job on your room? Yay! Yay! That's all that matters. Mama! <laughs> Cut a banana. Now what are you two eating? What you should have never brought in this house. I didn't get them. You did. Don't lie on me like that. Mommy. You got them. Megan. You bought we them. We see it in your eyes. Sean, you bought them. Mommy. He bought them. Mommy. And now she's tripping. <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> she's a white chocolate carnivore like mama. Hey, you got a banana, man. I thought you was eating healthy for a second. He is. He's still eating it. we to keep bringing them chocolates in this house, ain't you? You bought the chocolate. I did not. Mama did it, didn't she? Our wind chill, you guys, for Friday and Saturday in Kentucky is supposed to possibly to negative 25 yeah I that's them. crazy that's kind of what i've based the vlog over we've been getting prepared i have washed i kind of went in panic mode after the flood it's like you I get know. a little more um i even mentioned that, that cautious we have ptsd from yeah. the flood so i even washed every stitch of clothing there's nothing dirty but what we got on all the bedding all the throws the dog bed covers like i'm like all right we freeze up ain't got no water we were 16 days without water and if it's icy and snowy we ain't even gonna be able to go out and get water, so we got prepared this time. No exaggeration, look at this, y'all. It's gonna be a, a blistery cold one here in Kentucky. We might as well be like Alaska. Look here, Tuesday, it's gonna be 51, then bottom out to negative one. And then Friday, it's gonna be six to negative one. 
Then Saturday, 15 to 6, it's going to start warming up. But 1 to 2 inches Friday, looks like between 2 a.m. to so. Whew. That's going to be a cold we are not used to. And a lot of other people, too. It's supposed to be like Kentucky, Ohio, a bunch of places. It's supposed to be single digits in Florida. Yeah, and my mom and dad went today, or mom said they were going to get them a heater because it's supposed to get so cold down there. The way I gather, I've been watching on the news, like some kind of Arctic blast is coming out of Siberia, escaped, got down here, and now we're going to freeze. At least it ain't like people in, what was that, Montana? Somebody put up a video yeah. of their headboard was and frosted over. It. And their headboard isn't even against the wall. It had like three, four inches of space. It was still ice coming through the headboard. I hope to God people remember their animals. Like, this is the weather they'll freeze to death. I mean, imagine that. We yeah, chill be 25 cold. below that. Like, our little animals around here ain't used to that. They'll freeze to death. Yeah, it's going to be negative one, but they're saying the wind chill is supposed to be like negative 21 to negative 25 here. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to be staying in the house and I ain't, uh, no, like, I am not taking no chances of getting another cold or flu or anything like that. Probably the second or third night I was sick, I sat on the edge of the couch and I was just like, Lord, am I going to make it through this? Is this what's going to be taking me out? Are you having problems? You need help? There you go. You like your yoo-hoos. Mama's got you drinking chocolate water. 